Dan Mulder and I'm a fourth year optometry student. I'm going to start a video series about how to get into optometry school, what, why I chose optometry school, tips in the interviewing process, and how to be successful in optometry school. And so I thought I'd start out today just by telling you my path and road to optometry and, and why I chose it and what took me there and kind of my experience, which was a little bit unique, I feel like. So I, uh, like many of you, probably started going to the optometrist at an early age to get fitted for glasses. And over the years, I just loved my optometrist. I always had a great experience, walked away seeing better and was uh, happy. So when it came time to choose a major my first uh, semester of college, I said, hey, why don't I do optometry? That seems like it's always been a, a great career to me. So I decided to pursue that road. And I was also interested in business at the time, but luckily with optometry, you get a blend of, of both business and medicine, as you can own your own practice, and there's a lot of business opportunities too. So that, that really interested me also. So I picked biology as my major, like most health professions, and I started my road towards optometry there. So when I, once I chose to go into optometry, I decided that I wanted to go to the University of Alabama Birmingham early on um, because that was one of the top schools that had a good program and it had in-state tuition so it was a lot cheaper. And I wanted to get out of school with as little debt as possible. So I transferred my undergraduate um, school to the University of Alabama roll time and I kept studying there and working towards going to optometry school. And while there I had a, a few uh, opportunities to shadow some um, local doctors in, in optometry and also in medicine, and I decided, hey, maybe I should do ophthalmology. I would have a, a broader scope of practice, and I could pretty much practice any way I want. Uh, that sounds pretty nice. So I ended up applying to medical school. I got in South Carolina and uh, went, kind of took a, a slight deviation from my original plan. I went to medical school, and while right before we went there, though, we had our first child. And my most important thing to me in this life was to have, to have a family, to be a good husband and a father and just enjoy that. And everything else on the side is, is just gravy. So while the medical school was really time consuming, it was very difficult. It was far more demanding um, than even I anticipated. I anticipated it to be hard, but I didn't think it was going to be that hard and that much time away from my family. So I decided, and then I, I came to the realization that even though just because you're in medical school doesn't mean you get to do the specialty that you want. You have to be, it's quite competitive nationwide to get the residency, especially ophthalmology. So I thought, if I go through all this, these four years of medical school and then I don't get ophthalmology, would I be happy in a different specialty? And so I ultimately decided, with all these factors playing through my head, to leave medical school and pursue my original dream of optometry. And it's been a great decision to me. I've never looked back. Optometry has been a lot more family friendly. I have a lot more time with my kids and my wife and just enjoy life a little bit more and, and not compromise on, on my goals of treating eyes. And I think it's a much better fit for my personality. I'm pretty laid back. And so it's been it's been wonderful and I haven't regretted that decision not not once. And so um, I also uh, had the opportunity when I was in med school to I was pursuing the HPSP scholarship through the military. I went through all that processing and process, so if anyone has any questions about that, I can definitely answer that as well. But my whole goal through these videos is just to, I've had the opportunity to mentor many of my friends and, uh, and just acquaintances over the years and help them um, get into optometry school and be successful there. And so that's my goal for YouTube.